The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Sneaking old needers. Well, I'm through being a walking target. Come on, men, we're gonna fight back for a change. Lieutenant Briggs, we can't go past this boundary. We're treaty bound not to chase into Onita territory. There's nothing in the treaty saying we have to say thank you for being sniped at. Lieutenant, us militiamen, we got enough worries without disobeying a red coat colonel's orders. Just to remind you, Farber, out here I'm in command, not Colonel Dillon. Now fan out and shoot on sight. Meaning no disrespect, Lieutenant, but that's an order you've got no right to give. All right, Farber. And she seemed to be thinking like a book soldier. Stay here. Now, what about the rest of you? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. No mark in a tree is going to stop me. Even if I have to do it by myself. But what are we all standing here for? We can't let the lieutenant do all the work for us. Regulations. That's all that's keeping me from hanging you. And it would be a fair example to all militiamen. But hang you will when the Commissioner General gets this report. Hawkeye. Colonel. I'm glad headquarters could spare you. Greetings, Chingachgook. What's this all about? The orderly said something about transporting a prisoner. I want you to take this man to the territorial capital. 
Well, since when have you stopped using your own guardhouse? Seems to me you could cool off a prisoner just as well right here. This young hothead will cool off with a rope around his neck. I trust the court-martial will concur with my report. What you been up to, son? Dereliction of duty is no matter to be taken lightly, Hawkeye. This man, a lieutenant in command of a patrol of the King's Militia, by his own admission, violated our peace treaty with the Onidas. What I know of the Onidas, they're not very good at keeping treaties themselves. Onida, smile in face, stab in back. The fact remains that we are not at war with them. Maybe you don't think so, Colonel. But as long as Kootenay's chief of the tribe, the Onidas will always be in the war path. Your opinion is of no consequence, Mr. Briggs. You will conduct the prisoner to the capital and deliver him to Colonel Quentin for trial. Colonel, uh, it's not the kind of a job that I hanker for, delivering a man to the gallows. Couldn't you send some of your own troops? I can't spare any. We're undermanned as it is. It's the same excuse you gave when you refused to march in and rescue my men. If I'd had regular soldiers in my patrol instead of militia, you'd had the whole garrison after Kootenay. Your rashness cost us your patrol. I do not propose to lose this fort by acting in the same manner. Come on, Lieutenant. We better get started. Goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye, Hawkeye. You know, fretting yourself sick about those charges won't make them any less serious, Lieutenant. I'm not thinking of myself. It's my men. Just over that border, they're prisoners of the Onidas. Nothing being done to help them. Well, what makes you so certain they're still alive? A band of them that attacked us used their guns as clubs instead of shooting them. Yeah, they sure wouldn't do that if they just wanted to lift a few scalps. Chingachgook, do you mind guarding the prisoner by yourself for a while? Well, where you go, my brother? I'm gonna do a little treaty violating myself. Not afraid to die? Couldn't they know how make them want to die? You say nothing. Maybe not need tongue. Huh. Couldn't they cut out? Wait till the word gets around to the other Indian nations what Kootenay's idea of a peace treaty means. You'll have a new name. Faceless one. Right. Not touch rifle. You and Edith travel pretty far south on your raids once a year. Heard you went as far as the Father of Waters once. Me lived for many years with Natchez tribe on shore, a father of great waters. This is same wood they use for make prisoner, make talk. Natchez, teach me how. Make brave, die a thousand deaths, maybe more. Natchez, teach good. No, make Natchez torture. Get that tongue wagon. Kootenay, sell soldiers. They didn't look sold to me. What are they doing still in your village? White man come soon. 
bring much wampum. You're a lion. No white man's fool enough to buy soldiers. No lie. White man named Joe Acker live with Ottawa. Ottawa buy many slave. Not care where come from. So Kootenay's messing around with white renegades in Ottawa's. It's about time someone showed him he's getting a mite too big for his britches. No talk more. You've talked enough. You want to prove to the colonel that he's wrong about you? Hawkeye hanging is unimportant to me compared to this cloud of disgrace I'm under. Then get going. Tell the colonel that we sent you. Tell him to come on marching if he wants to save the men of your patrol and to stop Kootenay from getting the Onitas on the warpath. Don't even stop to breathe. Well, what about him? Him tied good. And you too? Kootenay is going to get paid a visit from a white renegade in Ottawa a little sooner than he expects. Savage. Don't give him the satisfaction of seeing a break. Well, let's go. I hope the chief never met Joe Acker before. Or Ottawa Brave, name Attacker. <laughs> Greetings, Kootenay. Great chief of the Onitas. I'm Joe Acker. This is Attacker of the Ottawas. Ottawa tribe, send greetings. First time white man see Kootenay. How no name? All men of woods, no name of Kootenay. Name of Kootenay on many tongues. Manitou smiles. You give wampum, me give slave. That's what Ataka and I came here for. But is this the famed Onita hospitality? To talk of bartering before the care and comfort of friends who have just made a long journey? White brother wish, Kutni obey. You go in teepee, eat, rest. When sun hide face, then we barter. Dirty renegade. Well, we've got him fooled so far. When the sun hides face, what we use for wampum? Powder and ball if we're long-winded enough with our bartering. We better start doing some praying that the lieutenant gets here with a colonel in the military before we run out of words. Appears like there's no time to say our prayers, let alone have them answered. Him Hawkeye, Chingachgook, Mohican, not Ottawa. I gotta hand it to you, Karak. Never expected to see you here. Mohican, tie good, like squaw. What? Karak say, fort weak, not many soldier. While Hawkeye die, or need to attack. You've got a treaty with the fort, Kootenay. You're supposed to be a man of your word. Could name man of word, prisoner break treaty. Come Onida country, make war. That's not the way I heard it. They were out on a patrol. Your brave shot at them, tricked them into a trap. You don't keep your word, Kootenay. You speak with the tongue of a lion snake. <laughs> You've got to listen to me. My men, they're going to be sold as slaves. 
Hawkeye and Tingatook. They've gone... To their deaths, no doubt. Arrest him. Colonel, I didn't think this up. Hawkeye sent me to get ye in the garrison. Kootenay's stirring up the Onidas, and there's no telling when they'll hit the warpath. Briggs, I don't know how you escaped from Hawkeye and Chingachgook. Or what you expected to gain by coming back here. But let me tell you one thing. You're going to the gallows if I have to take you there myself. My neck's unimportant right now. It's my men, prisoners of the Onidas, and the safety of this whole territory I'm worried about. The safety of this territory is my concern. And I need no advice from the likes of you. Take him to the guardhouse, Sergeant. Look, lock me in the guardhouse. Even hang me if you want to. But hit the Onidas first before they massacre the whole garrison. Guards! Guards! Look, you got it! Ain't no use you asking me again, Lieutenant. You know the Colonel won't see you. He give me specific orders. He's got to. Them savages will be attacking any time now. The colonel don't think so. And in my book, a colonel's always right. General Quarters! Let me out of here! Yankees, getting ready to leave fort. Sound, you die. Make Yankee's chief think only few warrior. Him come out, not go back. We will stay in tight formation until we make the woods. Then deploy and fire at will. They must be a small party or they would have attacked in force. Open the gates. Colonel, wait! You're just exposing yourself to a trap. The same kind of trap I rushed into. Quick! Watch! Colonel! Oh, I pray to heaven I'm wrong. Hold fire. We take more slaves for other ones. Hold back. Kill all Yankees! Hold fire! Release Lieutenant Briggs and bring him to my quarters. Valuable to Kootenai, you be dead. Bring all white men. They make good shield. Wounded. Place me in command. There's just one chance in a million of not being overrun by those Anitas out there. Maybe saving the lives of those men. Anything you want in the fort is yours, Hawkeye. Maybe all I'll need is my bare hands. We stand in back. Soldiers in fort not shoot. Kill own men. Kootenay! What are you, a squad chief, hiding behind real men?
Goodness show Hawkeye who squaw chief when take Hawkeye's scalp. The other tribes will all laugh when they hear how two men with their hands tied got away from the Onitas. The Ottawas will spit when they hear the name of Kootenay, the rabbit-hearted chief who hides behind white men. Hawkeye brave hide in fort. Make fight with tongue. You come out. Kootenay show how fight. I'll make a deal with you, Kootenay. I'll meet you man to man, barehanded, for the lives of those prisoners. So be it. Kootenay lose fight. Free prisoners. This time, Hawkeye, I kill. That's just what I was going to ask you, Colonel. Well, now you mention it, there is one thing. You can tell the Commissioner General that I'm taking an extended leave. During my absence, I'm recommending one of his militiamen to take command of the garrison. And didn't know you were planning on a leave, Colonel. There are compensations for being nicked in battle. Me think me no name of militiaman. It's Lieutenant. No, Chinkachgook. You're wrong. He's Captain Briggs now. <laughs> well, that's one decision you didn't make rashly, Colonel. Congratulations. Thanks, Hawkeye. We'll deliver your message. Thank you, Hawkeye. Goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>